All right, Lauren, thank you. The Baltimore City Police Union is calling out Police Commissioner Michael Harrison for not bringing down the number of murders happening on his watch. For a sixth year in a row, Baltimore has seen more than 300 people killed on its streets. WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper is live outside uh, police headquarters for us. Mark, what are union leaders saying this morning? Good morning, Ashley. Well, you know, it's not the first time that the FOP has called out the police commissioner. They're essentially saying enough is enough and even hinting at that Harrison should go. Baltimore City Police Commissioner Michael Harrison has been on the job for nearly two years. And in that two years, the number of murders hasn't changed much since Harrison was sworn in on March 12, 2019. With nearly 330 people killed so far this year, the Baltimore City Police Union, the Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 3, puts the blame at the top with Commissioner Harrison. Now, the union took its beat with the commissioner to Twitter and posted these tweets stating, 500 officers short, homicides and shootings are pacing with last year's record violent crime stats, and we have lost more officers than we have hired over the last two years of Police Commissioner Harrison's tenure in Baltimore. No actionable crime plan at the street level. In the last 13 days, there have been 19 homicides and 30 failed murders, shootings in Baltimore. If your starting pitcher is getting crushed, you bench him. Now, 50 of this year's homicides were women, including two women who were killed Monday night in southwest Baltimore. One woman was shot on West Pratt and taken to a hospital where she later died. Another was found dead on South Cary Street. One of the victims leaves behind a child. Neighbors are so scared for their own safety that one woman we spoke with was even too afraid to go on camera to talk about it. Why is this happening and what is being done about it? And it's concerning again that yet right on my block, two women were gunned down last night. And it's just concerning as a woman and as someone who cares for other women. Now, police haven't made any arrests yet in the case of those two women who were killed Monday night. If you have any information which could help police solve those crimes, you're asked to call Metro Crime Stoppers at 866-7-LOCKUP. We're live in downtown Baltimore. Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.